Hi everybody, welcome to episode 10 of the Photography Explained podcast. In this episode, what have we learned so far? My episode 10 recap. I'm your host Rick and each week I will try to explain one photographic thing to you in plain English in less than 10 minutes without the relevant details. My aim is to explain things in just enough detail to help us with our photography and no more. I've got to episode 10, double figures. I'd never thought I'd get there and I'm delighted. Hopefully my um, broadcasting, is it broadcasting? My um, recording voice and how I speak is improving. Go back to episode one or the introductory episode, I sound quite horrendous. What have I learned so far? Take it slower, pause, breathe and think. This is going to be me ad living. So what, what have we learned? And what have we learned without any of that much hated irrelevant detail? Well, episode one, I started with what photography is which is drawing with light. That would have been a short episode, so I expanded that to what is photography to me, where I told you what photography means to me and what it has given me over the many, many years I've been into photography. And that's quite a lot, I'm happy to report. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Okay, after that, how a camera works. This wasn't a technical, in-depth how a camera works. It was explaining that a camera is a light-proof box with a hole in it. That's all it is, really. Anything else is just unnecessary complication. No, I'm kidding. But a pinhole camera from back in the day was a lightproof box with a hole in it. A Hasselblad camera is a lightproof box with a hole in it and a lens on the front. It's just an expensive box with an expensive hole, as in the lens. How does the camera work? Light goes through the lens, shutter opens, hits the sensor, hits the film, records the image. How a camera works? Didn't need 10 minutes, did I? Next episode, how to take a photo. This was just the the main thoughts, um, things that I hope will help you if you're out there and you haven't got a clue how to approach taking photos and learning photography. Yeah, that was just a nice little list and some things to think about when you're um, looking at learning photography. Then I dive straight into what the exposure triangle is. Now, with hindsight, that was a mistake. Far too early in the... um, I was trying to get some logical flow to these episodes and there isn't a logical flow of how to take a photo to do we need a camera of what the exposure triangle is. That should have been some episodes on from then. So um, I regret that, but hey, it's all about learning, isn't it? And learning from your mistakes. So I explained the exposure triangle, which is not easy in words in, in, in not too much time. It's disappointingly complicated, but when you get your head round it, it's relatively straightforward. It's just what I'm finding as I talk about photography is that a lot of the terms, when you try and explain them in plain English, it's quite difficult because the terms are very strange. They've evolved over the years and they just seem to be jargon. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this, to try and explain things so people can understand them. So what was next? Do we need cameras in 2020? Well, we don't really, do we? I've got an iPhone XS. I lost track of the number in at nine. Or was it eight? Or was it eight plus? I don't know. Do we need cameras? iPhones? Other phones available, of course. They're all amazing these days. But yes, in my opinion, we do need cameras in 2020. I have a number of cameras which I use for different specific things. But then again, I would do, wouldn't I? So what else have I talked about? The fundamental components of cameras, how they work, what all the bits are. Completely lost my thread there. How to learn how to use a camera. How to learn how to use a camera. Does that actually make sense? In the last episode, I spoke about how to learn how to use a camera, which I think is a very important thing. Well, it's all important, to be fair. I tried to start off with the most important things and some of the most straightforward things and try and build things up from a base. So um, I'll say it again. Apologies for the exposure triangle one. How to learn to use a camera is important because um, I've bought cameras in the past, not learned how to use them and been disappointed with them. And it's all been my fault. Cameras these days are amazing. They do amazing things. You can take amazing photos, but you've always been able to take amazing photos. It's just it's a lot easier these days for us. What have I learned? To relax and enjoy recording episodes. Might not sound it, but I actually enjoy doing this. To not take this too seriously. I don't want this to be boring. I do leave errors in. Coughs, stuff, stumbles. Do you know why I do that? I do that because I haven't got a clue how to edit in audio. So if you want to do a podcast but you don't know how to edit audio, don't worry about it. Just get stuff out there. What else have I learned? Yeah, exposure triangle far too early in the series. To try and introduce a bit more me into each episode. Well, that might not be a good thing. Let's be honest about that. 
We'll see how that goes. So what's coming up next? I think that's the other thing I've learned is that I need some structure to this until the um, questions start flooding in. The next batch of episodes, I've just drafted out headings for them all now and I've tried to get a logical flow for the next 10. I'm going to be talking about taking photos because I think we spend too much time on gear, Lightroom, techie stuff, spending money on stuff. And we don't seem to spend as much time talking about the process of taking photos and how you do it. So I'm I'm going down that road, which I'm hoping will be a bit different. You can learn from my experiences. I've been doing this for over 30 years. So I'm hoping I know something about this, which is an interesting point. I'm going to be telling you things that I've learned that I wish I'd known when I started learning photography back in the day, like I say, some years ago. So now I'm up to... um. I've got up to episode 25. I've got titles for those. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've made them a bit Google friendly as well to get as many people as I can do to the podcast because um, I need more listeners, let's be honest with you. Sitting down, going through everything in a logical process with one or two glasses of wine, no more, really helped me to get some structure. Like I touched on earlier, I'm hoping that people are going to start asking questions. The only one I've had so far is from... um. From Mrs. M, who asked me a very good question, which led to me recording the episode, do we actually need a camera? It was a brilliant question, and it made me stop and think about the content and the logic and the series and regret doing the Exposure Triangle one so soon. So, how many downloads so far? Well, at the time of recording this, which is about a week in advance, I've just got over 100 downloads. If you check out the blog post on my website for this episode, I will put in the number of downloads on that day. But as I sit here on the 10th of November 2020, I've got 109 downloads, which I think I'm delighted with. It's hard to say, really. 109 people or 109 downloads of my small but perfectly formed podcast. Yes, I wrote that bit. That must have been after some wine. That's enough for this episode. I'm beginning to waffle and that's the one thing I don't want to do. What's next on the Photography Explained podcast? Composition, so important, what you're actually photographing. And that's how I get into the um, taking of photos, which I'm hoping will be really useful for people. Okay, I'm done for this episode. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode, which was a bit of a personal waffle, wasn't it, if we're being honest? But if you did enjoy it, or you've enjoyed a previous episode, please leave a nice review and rating wherever you get your podcast from, or everywhere you get your podcast from, that would be even better. And please subscribe. If you could tell one person about my podcast, that'd be brilliant. If you could tell 10, that'd be 10 times better. And also check out my website, rickmacavoyphotography.com, where you can find out lots more about me, my architectural and construction photography, and lots of other blog posts all about good stuff from photography. Right, time's up. I've been Rick McAvoy. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you on the next episode all about composition.